Hello Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 2nd going to the 8th of May. So let's have a little look together and see what's going on for you, okay? I'm just going to pull the cards out first and then we'll talk about it as usual, uh, Cancer. But this does look good so far and is about relationships around you, okay? And let's get one more, please. Ooh, nice, okay. One thing they're saying in general is it's really important that we don't go backwards. Whatever they mean by that, um, I, I kind of get a sense of if you're wondering if you're going to do anything wrong, you're not going to do anything wrong unless you go backwards, whatever they mean by that. So keep moving forward is one thing I'm going to say. Um, let's pull you out one of these keywords for the week and we'll pull you a tarot card and then we'll talk about it. I say, but I'm always talking. It just doesn't stop help me <laughs> okay one piece of cancer nothing thank you success wow this has got to be one of the greatest ones in here i haven't seen this for a while this says i know that there is no greater goal than to love uh which is nice uh, of course, success can also talk about uh, some really great accomplishments in career and life goals, you know, um, some really good stuff coming up for you. Let me just pull one more from this deck. Cancer, please. Ten of swords. Okay. And a ten of wands here too. So there's a big release coming in for you and you may have felt this already. This is happening so you can find us... Uh, Okay, they're saying freedom, but there was also something coming in to interrupt that about not just freedom, it's also about kind of discovering yourself or really understanding how you feel or kind of freeing yourself from situations that might not serve you very well. Uh, these are abrupt endings. These are uh, maybe things that were, again, unexpected of you, for you, hmm. unexpected of you. So someone did not expect you to cut them out or to walk away from something. But the thing is, you were done with the situation um, because the Ten of Swords is, you know, a kind of feeling exhausted. You know, this is just not leading anywhere or and this could be anything in terms of career and love so or anywhere else in your life, uh, but it is an ending so that a new chapter can begin. So what you have ended, what you've let go of, it's important not to backtrack, it's important not to look back at this unless you're reflecting and learning and understanding, then that's perfect. And purging is really important, Cancer, especially for you. As a water sign, it's important to feel these emotions so that you can understand them deeper, uh, then kind of move away from it. Um, but the Ten of Swords is a difficult ending uh, for you to deal with, but one that is, again, opening new doors. So there is a silver lining, but I know it's hard when you're in Ten of Swords. You know, normally it's a card of someone being stabbed in the back. So normally it's, it is a hard situation, um, which is interesting because whatever you've had to move away from, because you were guided to, by the way, is leading you towards success. Um, so this is actually really good and one card that I really want to point out for you is the between worlds that kind of came through and this is where it kind of flipped, it kind of went like this and moved around again and I readjusted it to this because I think that was just a warning for you Cancer that you are moving forward but what's really important is that you don't move back. If we move back we're going back to what made us feel lost, confused and hurt and betrayed. Okay, and what we don't want to do is repeat those cycles. What we do want to do is now understand what we want because we now have been shown what we don't want uh, and move forward accordingly. And to have some confidence in yourself, like what you've been through in life has not been easy for you, Cancer. Like you have really changed um, from where you came from and what has happened in the last few years for you. And you've become someone very different and you are still becoming that person. You know, they were always kind of, not always, because you are moving away from it. It just takes time and again, forward movement. But at the moment, you can still reflect back on this because it's still a part of you. You know, there's still some things uh, within you that, you know, are still being removed. And this can be baggage, emotions that we're holding on to. This could be those feelings of feeling lost and abandoned by life or by people in the past. There's a lot of past, there's a lot of baggage, Cancer. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just gonna say it how it is. 
um, they're still around, but it's a process. Again, I, I just, I don't feel like there's a, well, I will never judge anyways, but I hope you're not judging yourself either. You know, you might be thinking to yourself, I should be over this by now, or I should be moving forward, you know. Don't be harsh on yourself, uh, Cancer, because with the between ones, where you are going, you are moving forward. Uh, we have loyal hearts here too, so this is, in a sense, about love and maybe attracting in love, but I will dive into that a little bit deeper. You also have higher power here, so there is a lot of higher guidance that is looking out for you. It could be people specifically who are in spirit, who are guiding you at this time and telling you you are protected. But the higher power as well, it speaks about your own psychic abilities being heightened because of what you've had to walk away from. And I always say, it's always through dark times that you actually find out how light or bright your light is. There we go. I, I could have said that better. That was going to be a moment for me, but you know, <laughs> uh, the higher power is talking about your third eye opening. So you are becoming more spiritually developed because of the pain and the difficulty that you've been through, um, because of the life that you've lived as well. It's kind of opened you up a little bit more to being vulnerable and being open to spirit and spirituality in general. You know, um, I will look into this little heart though, because maybe this ten of swords is someone you're walking away from that you had a connection with uh or again cancer this could be something else external to your relationships because i think it's going to be different for everyone when it's not clear like this straight away uh but just i really want to say to you you are being guided to move forward to keep going um because there's a lot of celebration in front of you and what you're really walking into is a lot of success um it's just about moving forward okay but let's clarify this let's talk about it all right, Spirit, let's talk about this for Cancer, please, for this week. Eight of Cups. So again, we are having to walk away from a situation. Again, it is, this is what I keep saying. This is going to lead towards wish fulfillment for you. Like something is going to come true. Something really amazing is going to happen for you. You are going to feel liberated, freed. I think a lot of money is coming in for you. Uh, just a lot of happiness as well, actually. But this is to do with your happiness. Not just everyone else is around you. It's about you. Uh, this week, definitely, I will again clarify the loyal hearts here. But when we have the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Cups, something happened here and you had to walk away from it. And the Eight of Cups is kind of like a... How do I... I always kind of say something was missing in this. Um... I do think if this is love, that there is still love here or passion for whatever it is. Um, but the Eight of Cups just feels like it's not enough to make the situation work. Um, but what you're walking into from the Eight of Cups is towards the Nine. And we have the Magician here and the Nine of Pentacles. So again, I do see independence. I do see money. I do see you're going to understand that this had to happen so that you could really understand how much energy you were kind of giving to people or maybe even what you was holding back i think you're going to be more uh discerning about your energy that you give to others that your money that you give to others you know maybe you are overly giving cancer it doesn't surprise me if you guys are a very nurturing caring sign um this is about you uh the magician i am going to clarify this because i'm getting that i haven't really been told something i don't know if you guys have fish or a fish maybe it's a pisces that you're dealing with i don't know but something about fish is important i don't know <laughs> Um, <laughs> nine of cups, self-happiness, self-fulfillment, uh, nine of pentacles, independence. It's about you again, about your money, your peace, your time alone, your freedom. Magician is what you're manifesting. Maybe you asked for this. Um, maybe you didn't ask for the ending, but the ending had to happen for you to walk away from something that wasn't serving you and into something that will, okay? And normally with the Eight of Cups, if this is love, you're walking away from something that may have felt betraying to you, exhausting for you, you know, a lot of words were said, and maybe not a lot, a lot of action was ever really, sh you know, I just feel like the Ten of Swords, it's a lot of logic, a lot of communication, or a lot of thinking, um, maybe not a lot of feeling, no, it's kind of a sense of it showing this to me, but you are now walking to, with the eight of cups to find the two cups, which is love, true love. Um, so if you've walked away from someone, Cancer, there is love in your future. Um, I just think this week is about self-love and for the rest of the time forward, I think it will be a few months before, at least before you find uh, love moving away from this. But you do have the yin, which is saying, if you are doing what you love and loving yourself, then naturally you attract in 
people, situations, and blessings. Um, so it's really about focusing on how to do that than um, focusing on love itself, right? Just focus on you, okay? And this is how the world works in some t in some ways. All right, anything else for Cancer, please? Ace of Pentacles. So again, you guys could be coming up with some new ideas or a new job, a new work, a new study or some form, uh, but the maybe even a new home. But the Ace of Pentacles is about long-term stuff. So you are really investing yourself in things that are going to last. Uh, this could be you focusing on your money now, uh, you focusing on your career a little bit more. Again, there is some improvements happening because of this though. And I think maybe this is why things needed to happen to shift your focus a little bit um, here. Yeah, the Five of Swords again. Maybe there was a third party with the Three of Cups being here with the Five of Swords. This is another card that kind of said that maybe this was outside of your control. Um, one thing I'm going to say is to practice some gratitude. I know it's hard when you're going through something, Cancer, but this is really about what, what in your life are you actually happy about, though? And I'm sure there's something. The fact that you are able to breathe in the nice air, whether it means that you have a nice view outside your home. Like, something to be grateful for can really ground you at this time. And that's another message coming through the Ace of Pentacles. In order to make sure we don't fly away in our heads, Cancer, we need to ground ourselves at this time. So get out into nature. Maybe even put your feet in the sand or put your feet in the, in the mud here, if you wish to kind of really kind of reconnect to spirit. And I think this is what the higher power is talking about um, because not always will people be loyal and it's not in our control either. But what we can be loyal to is ourselves and our connection to spirit or whatever it is that you believe in, you know, um, whether it is just your higher self or, or, you know, it's a God or something, you know, um, or just yourself. I really feel like just connecting and grounding yourself to yourself is going to help you understand that this situation will transform you for the better but it's hard to see that in the moment okay now with the five of swords again that's where i feel like gratitude is needed um i also think again thinking about the past will help with your emotions but it's not going to change the situation uh and i think it's really important to not create scenarios or think about things too much and overthink because i do believe that um you might talk yourself out of where you're going moving forward and it is good it is good you're between worlds here where you're coming from is a lot worse than where you're going into so the five of swords is another card by the way that suggests that you're having to walk away from the situation like it kind of was out of your control uh three of swords here it did tear you apart it really did we have two threes i'm getting goosebumps maybe there was another person or another thing involved um, that kind of got in the way of this. I'm getting so many goosebumps. Um, because I kind of feel like this is to do with this pain. Okay. Page of Pentacles came through, which is good because these kind of cards come in as your advice. Another card about balance. This is about finding out things that you like to do and to experiment a little bit. Page of Pentacles can talk about new hobbies. Uh, again, this is something to do with you investing in yourself and maybe you guys can benefit by making things like crafts and being creative. I think this can really help you because either you can create a, a business out of this um or whether you can really just develop your skills in something and i'm actually seeing either they very specific they said oil paintings here i was gonna say like some of you might make fabric or um like carpets or i'm seeing i'm seeing something <laughs> i don't know <laughs> it's just coming through maybe this can really benefit you maybe it's something that will ground you again because it is the pentacles that they're wanting you to focus on uh, whether it's just building your skills in your company this can also be very good maybe trying to work your way up the ladder also very good spirit is really asking for you to really be kind of self-indulgent here within this week because this is what's going to lead you towards this success i wanted to clarify loyal hearts we have the four of wands we have the Knight of Pentacles and we have the Nine of Pentacles. So Nine of Pentacles brings in that again, that independence. So that's one thing to focus on. We have the Four of Wands too, which is about relationships and, you know, engagement of some kind. Maybe you might meet someone when you're out. This is another energy. If it's a new person, 
Um, for some of you, this will be new, just because the Nine of Pentacles can sometimes represent the fact that you are single. So this looks good, but it just takes time. And I actually think that if you are waiting for a new relationship or things to develop in a relationship, Cancer, it will take you time before you meet this person or before things are, you know, sorted out in your love life. Because you will be at this night of pentacles rather than the page so it will take some time and again by the time you meet this person you might have been promoted you might be on a higher paycheck i don't know you might be more successful in your endeavors here you might be on a trip for some of you um you'll be in a much more stable place um than where you are currently so this is something to look forward to uh, which is great and this will be reciprocated as well which is nice the kind of person that you'll be with is well the love is here Maybe a Gemini, but this is love, true love, okay? I uh, was someone very charismatic, bubbly, and fun, which feels nice. And maybe someone who's kind of self-made is the vibes I'm getting here, okay? Let me adjust and get comfortable. Okay, let me just pull out one more card for Cancer, please. What do we need to know for this week ahead? The star, and you got another one, Ace of Wands. Mm. Uh, this looks like a manifestation. You have two aces. So despite this ending, I told you, things will look good moving forward. You just need to keep going. The star card is about healing. Ace of Wands is about relocation, a trip. This could actually help you out, by the way. Could even be for some of you like a retreat. I think that there is a need for some time to yourself to ground again to your spirituality or something. Uh, maybe it's just meditating a little bit more. I don't know. It's coming up intuitively. But the Ace of Wands is a new passionate beginning that you are creating between you and spirit here and it is something that will happen for you as destined but the star card is wish fulfillment so your your wish is granted um so to focus on that within this week it's from your healing though that this will happen the more that you're connecting to yourself is the more that you're attracting in these opportunities here yeah. okay new passion it's great let's pull you out some love cards though Heart with a key, which is saying meeting the one, welcoming love, open your heart, okay? Talking, so you and some, you might actually be currently speaking to someone that you have interest in here, Cancer. This is interesting, because we have separation and I can see that in your reading. So maybe you're talking to somebody new, but again, I don't see any things starting out until you feel good in your career and your life in general i think there's a lot of time that will pass before this happens so uh, you could be friends for now um but this is saying that someone is interested awaiting a message uh texting calling emailing you know conversing more but we do have separation so someone is missing you uh this could either be two people you're dealing with or maybe there is a hope that a new uh, you can rekindle something that with someone who's already in your life or was already in your life we have mirror okay so this says mirroring each other self-image relationships reflect our wounds and introspection so this is about understanding what you can learn from the ten of swords here or from love uh, from the people around you because they're showing you something that you need to heal something that you need to deal with or again what they're doing is also what you're doing without realizing so it's time to kind of reflect on your relationships here but focus on yourself just as important okay that's where the healing is but where the results is is with you okay i love you cancer i'll see you guys next time okay and i wish you all the best